It's Marty and Danielle here in the studio at 91X in Long Beach. Of course, in Long Beach this morning is Jacob Knoll. He was in a band called Law. He's a singer-songwriter who most people know as the son, the heir to Bradley Knoll of Sublime. He's on with us this morning. Good morning, Jacob. How are you? Hey, how's it going, guys? What up, Long Beach? What up, radio? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, formerly of Law, now of Jacob's Castle. Jacob's Castle is the name of you as a singer-songwriter with a backing van. And on Epitaph Records, the legends in independent music making mm-hmm. and producing and distribution. That's so cool. I, I, what's your relationship like with Brett and the guys at Epitaph? Oh, they're like the coolest people in the world to work with, man. Like The other day, like Brett had me over in the studio with Tim Armstrong. I wrote a couple songs in this this Jacob's Castle record with, and we were just like hanging out, man. <laughs> so cash. Yeah, yeah, Tim Armstrong was just there. Yeah. We just like wrote a song, whatever. I know it was, and they were just like nice and chill dudes. And like I was like, this is amazing. Now, Daniel, I'm going to go off script here and ask, what was the snack and drink while songwriting with Tim Armstrong at Brett Gerwitz of Bad Religion and Epithet's house? What was what was on the menu when you were chilling? Yeah, it was battered fish tacos and uh, shrimp tacos as well from the spot. Oh, I can't remember the name of the spot, man. Somewhere up there in L.A. The There's spot is spot. so upset you can't remember their name right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was amazing. I remember because we each got two tacos, and like I was like, man, I really wish I had more than two right now. Uh, no, I know this I'm, is the spot that Tim yeah. takes people because uh, I've heard this. I've heard that Tim Armstrong takes people to a specific spot for fish tacos. We'll have to put the spot when we mm-hmm. repost this interview yeah. so everybody knows. Yeah, please do because it definitely <laughs> is a spot. Mm-hmm. So you're just... Writing with Tim Armstrong, does he tell you to start singing? Da, 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 <laughs> sing like that, da, 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 da. <laughs> dude. No, but sometimes we go into the booth together while he's trying to like flesh out an idea, and he'll sing and he's like, just follow my lead, and then he'll just kind of do that, you know. <laughs> da, 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 it's pretty da, 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 da. Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah. I am not making fun. Mm-hmm. I'm always giving love. That is that is has to be surreal when you're sitting in the booth with Tim Armstrong. Oh no, it's it's pure love, man, because he's so talented and such a raw like you know individual and such an amazing writer. So yeah, the, we have a song coming up called Time Traveler coming out. Uh, my first release on Epitaph, and it was the first co-write me and Tim ever did. He had this hook. He needed some verses written around it, and then I took the song we wrote to my producer and. Um, we sort of did it up from there. There's so much in your history that has taken you to this point, to this moment. Like Star-Lord mm-hmm. in Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Like, you're half God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're basically born a celebrity. Yeah. Oh, that's such a great way to put it. It does feel <laughs> kind of like that. Because it is classic stories like that. I explore the that concept all the time because it's interesting to people. And I... I definitely have lived and am living in that Star Lord or Simba or whatever <laughs> kind of, you know, exiled <laughs> prince returning kind of vibes. And I try not to think of it in, in those terms because I'm a pretty normal, weird, chill dude. But there's a lot of benefits to it that I think would be wrong of me to discount. You know, obviously, like I'm, I'm happy for, you know, the opportunities it's afforded me. But sometimes it comes with a lot of uh, scrutiny from other people like, well, you know, he was only getting blank because he's the son of blank. But at the same time, I'm like, your life's path is your life's path. Your opportunities are your opportunities. And personally, I'd rather just have like a dad that's like alive <laughs> and mm. create all the opportunities for that. Mm-hmm. So in lieu of that, it'd be nice to think that if you left behind something for a kid, you wouldn't want them to be paralyzed with fear to not take opportunities because, uh, you know, we wouldn't want people to be upset by that. <laughs> Instead, I want to. Uh, look at the legacy that my dad left behind and and the beginning thing that he created a lot of people don't know sublime wasn't big until after my dad's death you know Mm -hmm. we we were he himself didn't get to experience and i find that a horrible tragedy a man who made such amazing music changed so many people's lives Mm -hmm. you know i want to do with jacob's castle is take the sound of that era and just blend it with all of the amazing music that i see happening today in southern california and around the world i think Jacob's Castle becomes like a, a synthesis of all that and a celebration of that era and then the current modern era, you know, of all the music that I'm into and, and create a new face of, of SoCal rock. So when I have to pass the buck on to the next poor, sorry uh, kid that wants to do this <laughs> line of work, and <laughs> then they, you know, they'll have something to, uh, to also add on to it. Well said. Mm-hmm. And you sound like a well-formed, pretty level-headed human being. I think you've done pretty well yeah. for yourself, Jacob. Let me oh, also... thank you, man. But, it, but that, that's the spiel for that. But it was a screwy way to grow up, dude. It was mm-hmm. like all sorts of weird kids being weird, you know, girls being weird, people. Like, <laughs> yeah, who can you trust? Creepy people. Probably. But for the most part, 
though it's a very small minority, all the fans I've met out there and all the people who are enthusiastic about this music and have had their lives changed are totally rad. Yeah. It's all love. We appreciate all yeah. the candor and your um, music and you and sharing mm-hmm. everything with us here at 91X. Thank you so much, guys. You rock. I love 91X. Jacob Noel, thank you from 91X and Marty and Danielle. Thank you. Love you guys. This was so much fun.